Hello, VNTV. Thank you for joining us for another installment of the KTT Optometry Show. Tonight we have a special guest, Dr. Tan Nguyen, <laughs> uh, a local optometrist here in San Diego. And our topic tonight is spring is right around the corner, so we're we'll going to be addressing one of our big complaints we see in the office lot is uh, eye allergies. And so before we begin, I want Dr. Tan Nguyen to give a brief introduction to our viewers. Um, hi, mình là bác sĩ Thanh Nguyễn Thị Thanh. Um, xin chào các uh, các quý khách ở uh, VNTV. Um, so I'm Dr. Tan Nguyen. I live in San Diego now, thank goodness. I moved to Northern California. Used to live up in Stockton for about 10 years. I worked with a, a big medical group and um, we did a lot of research. We, you know, with especially corneal surface, mm -hmm. ocular surface. Um, and, you know, it's, it's been really interesting. It, although my studies when I did optometry school was just general optometry, mm -hmm. but as I grew in that practice, I just found there's so much more interest on just the front surface of the eye. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's more in the back of the eye too. I, I, I love mm -hmm. every part of the eye, what it has to do with our <laughs> life in general. But in any case, here to talk to you about um, allergy season and how it affects our eyes and our body in general. Yeah, so, <laughs> so a lot of times we, we have patients coming off and they're like, doctor, our eye, my eye's itchy. I don't know what's going on around this time of year. It could be actually year round, but I know mm -hmm. around springtime there's a mm -hmm. lot going on. And why, why is that? What's going on during this time that causes all this itching? And what, wow. what are allergies? There's so, so much um, going on at this time of year because you know, like everybody says, springs, the flowers are blooming, birds are singing, mm -hmm. uh, everybody's happier, except for those who suffer from allergies, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, there's pollen in the air from uh, nut trees, fruit mm -hmm. trees, flowering trees, just uh, even grass, you know, mm -hmm. hay fever affects so many Americans, more than 50 million Americans are mm -hmm. affected by wow, that is quite a bit. Um, allergies yeah. and um, a lot of those are children mm -hmm. as well as adults and about 20% of those are eye allergies, it's isolated eye allergies. Mm -hmm. So you know a lot of people think oh I don't suffer allergies because I don't have a stuffy nose mm -hmm. or I don't have a sore throat or I don't feel any kind of sinus congestion but the truth is mm -hmm. it can actually just isolate allergies in the eyes mm -hmm. um, or eyes and body yeah. or just body or just skin so um, there's a lot of things that your body and your immune system reacts to Certainly. all these irritants yeah from what I understand allergies is our body's defense mechanism right, right to prevent further damage so right it, it, yeah there's a whole cascade of things that can happen mm -hmm. but one of them is itching that's a hallmark symptom yes. along with uh, you know redness irritation, mm -hmm. depending on what part of the body system mm -hmm. uh, it's inflicted upon. Right. But yeah, that's what we see a lot, you know. So right. um, what, do you, what tidbits do you have usually when a patient comes in and what we want to address, you know, how can we help these patients? Uh, so uh, typically people say, oh, you know, my eyes, doc, I, my eyes just feel kind of uh, itchy. Mm -hmm. That's the number one complaint. But some people don't experience the itchiness for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, your body reacts to things different ways, yes. okay? okay. Um, but some of us would actually just get a, a redness or a dryness in mm -hmm. our eyes um, or just kind of a scratchy a general feeling of you know like when you blink your eyes just don't feel smooth mm -hmm. you can feel your eyelids you should never really feel your eyelids yeah. your tear film is uh, there to protect mm -hmm. you but when there's these allergens these pollutants these um, particles that your your immune system mm -hmm. that's meant to protect your body um, your immune system overreacts to this irritant Definitely. and then that cascade happens mm -hmm. and we see these uh, when we, we open up your eyelids we, we pull down in your eyelids and we flip your eyelids on top mm -hmm. we see these little little bumps, okay. these little mounds. Can patients um, see that if they're looking in the mirror? In medium, moderate to severe cases, mm -hmm, you can, can actually see, see these bumps in the mirrors, mm -hmm. um, depending if you're so nearsighted. Right? right. That, yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can see it right. when we have proper instrument, like a slit lamp. Right. Yeah. 
And uh, you know, the, the ones on the upper lids typically are larger, mm -hmm. and those are hard to see because when you flip your upper lid, it's mm -hmm. blocking your eye. <laughs> a lot, sometimes patient comes in, they don't know why their vision's blurry, but right. it's because they're tearing so much. Right. And our tear film contributes about 15% of the focusing of our eyes. Yes. So, so sometimes they don't have the itch, but they're having the blurriness. That right. could be also a possible yeah. eye allergy as well. Uh, so eye allergies, you know, it causes dryness. Your immune system reacting to all this stuff. Um, causes dryness. Mm -hmm. The medication that you take for your allergies, you know, your, your Claritin, mm -hmm. can cause dryness. It takes your body a lot of moisture out of your body mm -hmm. to uh, react to this. Yeah. But you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, you know, I put in um, like a red eye reducer." Mm -hmm. uh, and You're just saying I can't use. <laughs> <laughs> you can use it when you need to, but don't yeah. use it habitually because those, you know, like clear eyes, those. Anytime you look in the back of the ingredient and mm -hmm. it says redness reducer, mm -hmm. that's a definite red flag um, not to use habitually. Yeah, because what people don't understand is it, it causes the vessels to constrict. Yes. And then over time, it constricts it and then there's a rebound effect. Right. And so it's great on their, that they ha you have to use it more and more, right. use their product, but over time it can cause mm -hmm. more harm than good. Yes. But like you said, we could use it just occasionally to try to get the red out briefly, right. but stop it right there. Don't continually right. using it. Right? When you use it habitually, it causes more harm. Um, and um, and yeah, just like Dr. Kwa said, that when you use these, the blood vessels constrict, so it narrows the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. And the blood vessels are there to give your eyes nutrient mm -hmm. and oxygen and all those proteins that it needs Definitely. to repair itself mm -hmm. and you're cutting off that circulation so you don't have that resource mm -hmm. so you want to make sure and then when the drug wears off the medication wears right. off there's the rebound effect so it just right. opens up try to get mm -hmm. in those nutrients That's but right. then you think it's because and it's red again and you, right. you know, put more drop in so it's <laughs> right. a it's a habitual vicious cycle mm -hmm. that can cause a lot of damage to right. the eyes and we don't know a lot of people don't know All right so you you do want to go to your eye doctor when you have a redness you know you can try the over-the-counter stuff. There's over-the-counter eye allergy relief. What kind of stuff do you recommend um, that's a good one? So, uh, Zatator is one of my favorites mm -hmm. because the formulation, the buffer in it, the preservative in it is yeah, pretty mild. Yeah, because it actually used to be a um, prescription. Prescription. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then it was released as out. Over yeah, the a very good safety good profile, one, yeah. very tolerable, mm -hmm. hardly any sting. Um, one extra tidbit to that is whenever you use an over-the-counter drop, mm -hmm. whatever it's for, put it in the fridge. Because that mm. extra freshness, that coolness, oh, okay. helps calm down that redness. And oh, it's just yeah, um, that coolness tidbit. helps mm -hmm. relieve the allergy to some degree. It helps that infiltration of the, um, the mm -hmm. immune response. So what happens, okay, so a patient comes in, tries it a couple weeks, and there's no, it doesn't really help. What, what are the options <laughs> at that point? Of course, there's prescription eye drops, too. <laughs> <laughs> you can always write a script. Um, uh, anybody there's with a medical, there's, yes, yeah, there's definitely steroid there's, that So there's use, steroids, so there's antihistamine, mast cell mm -hmm. stabilizers, mm -hmm. um, you know, the type of medication, there's combination drugs. Um, sometimes, People think, oh, I'm taking an allergy pill. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't that take care of my allergy eyes? No, Not necessarily, right? no. It's different. It's yeah. different in mechanism of action. Cases, yeah. Yeah, in most cases, yeah, most cases it does yeah. not cross over at all. You need the to the eye, it's mm -hmm. eye tissues itself. What we do see is um, the nasal sprays. Mm -hmm. Those help. The be nasal spray can help the eyes? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I didn't know. So is it because uh, it's connected? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. exactly. Yeah. So the same way when you cry, your nose runs because mm -hmm. connect there's connected. The yeah. So when you spray up, it goes up to your mm -hmm. eyes and it helps your eyes. I see. And so um, there's there's a very very high mm -hmm. um, crossover I reaction see. that we're seeing a favorable crossover uh, okay, reaction. Okay, I see. But just remember, you know, anything that you're using over the counter drugs or over the counter vitamins or mm -hmm. herbal medicines. Make sure you disclose that with your doctor mm -hmm. because uh, some drugs interact with each other and sometimes in a good way, sometimes not in a good way. Mm -hmm. So make sure you bring your list of medications. What about some alternative treatments from non-medication, like uh, tips to keep the eyes <laughs> from uh, you know, reacting and yeah. getting all itchy and <laughs> right. what would you recommend to so, patients? If possible, avoid the allergen. So if you know okay. you're allergic yeah. to you know, seasonal allergies, hay fever, try to stay mm -hmm. out of the outdoor, <laughs> so well, I guess stay allergic, indoor. Well, if you're allergic to cats, so and you have cats, is there anything you can do? You can donate them. Or <laughs> <laughs> so there's nothing that the patient so, could take? So if you, no, of course, of course. Um, <laughs> so there's shots too, you can do shots, uh, allergy uh, shots. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but if you give away the cat, I mean, you yeah. know, with visitation rights and stuff like that, you can do, if you give it to a sure. friend who's not allergic, that'd be great. Uh -huh. um, but 
the best way to not have these responses, these strong responses mm -hmm. especially, is to not be exposed to it to start with. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and if you you have a uh, you know mild to moderate, mm -hmm. then you can try to decrease your your pollen count on yourself. Mm -hmm. So take showers um, at the end of the day when mm -hmm. you get home before you go to bed. Um, there are special sheets that are less likely to absorb these pollutants and mm -hmm. these particles. Um, there are special filters mm -hmm. that you can get, special fans, air filters, yeah. um, with the uh, that 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 clears out the particles and yeah, absorb the, the, the particles. Filter, like a HEPA yeah. filter, yes, right? Help, yes. Yeah, because a lot of these particles are minute. You can't see it with the naked eye. Right. But it just cleans, yeah, because right. our bodies, once it, the, the, uh, the allergen attacks our body, you know, there's huge chemical we learned in school, you know, there's a cascade of, you know, right. all these uh, immunoglobulins and right. that can react and right. that's what causes the hormone harm itching. Right. So um, Some people get such bad eye allergies that they can form scars on their eyes, oh, you know, especially right. when you start rubbing, rubbing your eyes. Lot, yeah. Those little bumps that you get on your eyelids, mm -hmm. sometimes you can get it right on the color part of your mm -hmm. eye. I'm sorry, uh, the border of the color part and the white part of your eye. Mm -hmm. and so then that white part starts to grow in and scar inward and cause some, you know, vi visual, permanent visual yeah, problems. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. just be careful not to rub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the rubbing can cause, they said, possibly keratoconus or? Well, yeah, it worsens. Worsens. Yes, it worsens, yes, it worsens keratoconus. keratoconus. So if you have certain eye conditions, mm -hmm. rubbing actually can accelerate those eye conditions, mm -hmm. make it worse. Um, so rubbing is never a good idea anyways. It increases your eye pressure, you, know, you have glaucoma, <laughs> uh, then we worry about scarring if you have keratoconus, or, you know, point, yeah. and so um, with allergy eyes, it can cause scratching and scarring too. So mm -hmm. you, you don't want to rub your eyes. If you feel the need to rub, mm -hmm. um, cold water, okay? Cold, so okay. just go to the sink, wash your hands, of course, first and foremost, wash your hands, um, and just splash your, your face yeah. and eyes. You made a great point about um, taking showers at night because mm -hmm. you're clean you're basically cleaning away toxins mm -hmm. that accumulate through your hair your hair yeah. follicles through your skin mm -hmm. and so it, it, it's a great point to make sure you shower before going to bed to eliminate help yeah. eliminate some of the allergens, yep. allergies yeah plus your sheets will smell better yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you know, i'm sure your partner will <laughs> appreciate it as well <laughs> yeah. you know showering is always good for you um you know some people feel like oh but i shower in the morning it helps me wake up better you can say, do both yeah why not, why not? you can yeah. Just uh, don't use a very abrasive soap, and that way your skin doesn't dry out. Because you know your skin is a barrier too, um, and so you can get really itchy, dry skin, and you break, and then you can get infections. The same way you get with your eyes. Um, so just watch out for yourself and take care of your body. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great information. <laughs> so I want to ask you one more question. Mm -hmm. So what tidbit, one one advice you could say that's really think is crucial for pa our patients to know. Oh, there's so I many know. things. Yeah, I know, it's a good um, question. So just one uh, thing, your pearl of wisdom. That pearl of wisdom. That you like to share, that you share a lot with your patients. Healthy say. eyes. A healthy body mm -hmm. usually includes a healthy set of eyes. So you take care of your body first. Mm, very point. You take care of those eyes you know, in the long run. Yeah. You eat proper nutrition. Okay. okay? Um, fruits and veggies, of course, are good stuff. Mm -hmm. I think the more colorful okay. veggies and fruit mm -hmm. have high antioxidants. And just keep in mind, the more colorful the fruits are, the more colorful your life will be. That's a great point. Yeah, yeah, because they don't realize, but our eyes are an extension of our bodies. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times my patients say, oh, so how do I keep my eyes? I say, keep your body healthy. Yes. Um, there's so many diseases. It's di you know, obviously, we've covered some diabetes mm -hmm. before. A lot of hypertension or a lot of systemic disease shows right. our the eyes. Right. And so I always tell patients, yeah, get your annual checkup, like your annual physical. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes healthy and you want to be able to see for the rest of your life all the exactly. beauty this world has to offer. Oh, there's so yeah. much. <laughs> um, and I always tell people, um, you know, when I review my patients, the first thing I tell them is like, oh, so how's your general health? And I was like, oh, I'm just here for an eye exam. You know, what does my health have to do with exactly. it? It has everything to do with oh, it. Yes. Your brain alone, a third of your brain is used for visual processing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, memory takes from your visual process, mm -hmm. visual core. Text. So you you got to take care of your body for mm -hmm. your brain to take care of itself, for your eyes to be bright. Yeah, because um, people don't realize how much is involved for us to even be able to see. Right. There is like trillions of cells in our body, the brain, I didn't even, mm -hmm. you know, because the eyes are an extension of the brain too. Yep. And so there's the optic nerve that feeds into mm -hmm. the information. And you're talking about trillions of processes that are happening that yeah. allows us to see. And right. so sometimes we take that for granted. 
Mm. And so we just got to make sure we take, keep right. our eyes healthy and stay healthy and be happy. That's exactly. our general focus. That's the main purpose of our show is just to patient education. <laughs> and I want to thank Dr. Nguyen for sharing your wonderful knowledge and your expertise tonight. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, love to take care of you and share with anything I can. Um, whether it be with life or <laughs> eyes, but you know, being able to see and being able to live and just keep that smile going is, is my goal to get more smiles and more more bright eyes. In yeah, this world. happiness is priceless. Yes, and yes. health is priceless. Yeah, right. Without health, it's really tr truly hard to be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, VNTV. Come on, Vivian TV for watching our show tonight. <laughs> you have a wonderful evening. Yeah, xin <laughs> chào.